Hey guys and welcome back to my second YouTube video guys and welcome back to my channel. Before I actually start the, um, the topic um, of this video, I really just want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to every single person who has sent me amazing messages, who has subscribed, who has liked my video, who has shared my video on social media. It's amazing. Thank you so much for all the support guys. You don't understand how much it means. Um, little by little i will get to where i want to get and i'm so excited for all these steps and yeah so let's go into this video before i start guys like you guys don't even want to imagine <laughs> where i have my camera right now um if i manage to take a picture i'll put it in the video if not add me on snap and instagram because i'm definitely going to put it on there so you guys can see like i had this whole issue so i ordered a um ring light <laughs> and i thought this ring light would actually come with a tripod but it actually didn't i didn't read the descriptions properly so actually just bring the ring light and obviously all the adapters for the phone and the camera but no tripod so i am literally balancing it somewhere <laughs> somehow and um yeah well i've ordered a tripod now so hopefully it'll be coming soon but obviously i had to film this video without it so it's a bit messy um how i have the camera hopefully it stays intact until the end of the video so i done a little um what would i call it a I just done a question on Instagram, what would people prefer me to do in my next video, if it was a Q&A or facts about me. So the one that won was facts about me, so I'm going to read 10 facts about me. Some of these you might know and some of these you absolutely do not know. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's jump straight into the video. So my first, 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 first um, fact about myself is I have to sleep on the side of the bed that's closest to the door i know this is really weird and when i explain it you guys are going to find it even more weird so <laughs> basically my theory is if we do have an intruder or someone that just comes into the house being near the door gets me quick quicker access to run away which doesn't make sense because if an intruder comes into the room i'm the first one they see so they will attack me so i don't know why my brain works like that but that's how it worked and that's why I have to sleep on that side of the bed. No matter where it is, no matter where I go, that's the side of the bed that I actually sleep on. And that's a true fact. Um, fact number two. So I am very, I don't want to say, I don't know if it's a phobia, but I'm definitely terrified of being in water when it's open, like an ocean or sea. Um... A lake a bit but swimming pool as well I think swimming pool is a bit different because like I know where I can stay safe if that makes sense but beach and stuff really 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 does petrify me because you never know what wave can come you never know like what's too deep what's too shallow I can't swim oh look another fact about me I cannot swim so the thought of being somewhere and um, not being able to control it control it kind of terrifies me I do kind of blame, not blame, but say that the reason why I'm like this is a little bit because of my mum's part of the family. They used to really um, scare me a lot when we were little. We used to have this like, it's like a lake where I'm from in Portugal and we used to go in there. My grandma used to kind of scare me and my mum say like, don't go in there, it's dangerous. People die, they drown. And because of that, I think like the older I got, Obviously, the more understanding you get, so I got more and more scared as the time came. So now I am like, I actually sometimes get very like hyperventilating, if that makes sense, if the water is quite scary. So, yeah. My third um, fact about me is <laughs> I've got, um, wait, 21 uncles and aunties. <laughs> so, basically my mum is 10 sisters and brothers and my dad is 11 sisters and brothers so yeah now you can see how big of a family i've got so yeah you can see the wedding list is huge and most of those aunties and uncles are married most of them got kids those kids have got kids those kids have got kids 
so my family is really really big so that's a fact I don't know if people knew about it or didn't but yeah so it's a very big family 11 on my dad my dad's side and 10 on my mom's side so and it was meant to be more but my gosh so yeah it's it's a very big family that I actually have from both sides so that's actually my fourth fact my fifth fact is I was meant to be a boy I don't know if that makes sense so basically my mom said and tells mostly everyone that they the doctors always thought I was a boy and she always thought I was a boy so so basically they didn't they couldn't really see what I was so in their head I was a boy and my mom obviously because she had had two girls and I was their you know third one thing guys my camera actually cut short so um switched off so yeah I was talking about how I was meant to be a boy so yeah my mom thought I was a boy she didn't have a name for me she didn't um yeah she just had no clue that I was going to be a girl but here I am I'm a girl and my name is Patricia so my mum had to kind of deal with it <laughs> um the other i don't even know how much i've done one two three four five so five this is the sixth one so the sixth one is i like to clean on a saturday no matter if i've cleaned on a thursday if i've cleaned on friday i have to clean on saturday it's just the thing it's a thing that i do i've just gotten used to it since being at my parents' house that was the cleaning day for us so 100% that's what I'm used to and I have to do it even even gets really annoyed at me because he feels like I'm constantly cleaning but it's just a habit and when you have habits it's very very hard to kind of you know let them go um another um fact about me is my favorite alcohol is Bailey's so guys I really love Bailey's I don't know what it is with it it's the creaminess it's the smell it's the fact that as well with ice it just I love fresh drinks let's just put it that way anything all my drinks need to be fresh or with ice even in the winter if they just have to I love coffees let's just get that out of the way but um you know what I mean I have to have those fresh drinks and Bailey's I don't know what it is with it it's just every time I even go to like a restaurant or something and something has Bailey's boom I get it even some like friends of mine are like oh yeah you're gonna come over and bring Bailey's because they already know that that's my favorite drink and that's what I drink so yeah that's a fact about me um another fact about me guys is I pray every single night so I started this in secondary school um I don't know why I started I can't remember but I pray every single night no matter what time I come in no matter what time I go to bed I have to pray every single night even even if it's just to say thank you that's what I do every single night even sometimes when I'm laying down even's like to me um talking to me and then he's like you're not going to reply and I'm like wait I'm praying like I'll, I'll talk to you in a minute so that's something that I have to do and I do every single night without failure Fa failure whoa without failure oh my gosh without a doubt let's just let's just without fail oh my god that was so bad yeah without fail i have to do that every single night so yeah another one is most of my friends are all older than me so most of my girls and friends guys are nearly all older than me i feel very very young sometimes when i'm with them and like most of them have kids and other stuff along the line and i feel really young however um i it doesn't really feel i don't really feel young when we're all together i just feel like it's exactly the same i just feel like they all look really young anyways so whatever and when we're all together it just feels perfect i mean i was brought up with them i was always like the little baby of like the group of the girl group especially my shiki knees and know who they are so because i was always like the little one i would follow them everywhere i they would take me everywhere even if they didn't let me in the room i would actually force myself in so um yeah and me and me and my sisters we, we always shared the same sort of friends so yeah so yeah my friends are older than me and my last one is i didn't really want to put this one up guys because it's something to do with my self self-conscious but um, I'm going to put it because I feel like it's not always about, you know, not showing the bad stuff. Sometimes it is about showing the bad stuff. So my last fact is I've got a small bold patch on my left side of my head. So on this side right here, I've got a bold patch. Um, I've realised when I was in year six because I actually had some people make fun of it <laughs> and I didn't realise my hair was tied up and yeah they made fun of it I panicked 
a lot when I got home and I told my mum, but my mum apparently said that it was when I had surgery done to my teeth. Um, so basically I had surgery done to my teeth to remove two of my teeth, two of my tooth. And apparently my mum noticed the bowl patch. She went to the GP and the GP said that it's certain medication sometimes or the anesthetic that they actually give you that can um, make that happen. I don't know if it's true or not. It's never grown back and it's been years because it was like when I was in year five when I took up the teeth or younger, I don't, I don't even remember. It was really, really, really long ago, so um, so yeah, it's never grown back, it's there. You can see it sometimes, depending on what I do, but yeah, it's tough sometimes, but um, you know what, we are, we are what we are. We need to love ourselves, we need to care about ourselves, and we need to stop thinking, you know, that we're all perfect, because we're not, we've all got stuff that, you know, we're not happy about, we don't like looking at, but at the end of the day, the quicker we accept these things and move on, the better it is for us. Hey guys, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. There were 10 facts about me that um, I thought were interesting and it took me quite a long time to actually find my 10 facts. I don't know why, but it was. I just felt like I put everything nearly on Snapchat and Instagram. So yeah. So those are my um, facts. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for voting on Instagram. That was great. It really helped me. Um, I've really got a lot of ideas for my next video. So I really, really hope you guys tune in. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. I think I'm putting the little button down here. So please subscribe. Don't forget. Please like, comment and share, guys. I think that's not how you the way you say it. I think it's don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Boom. Got it. That's how you say it, but it doesn't really matter. I, I wanna thank everyone once again for all the amazing support um, that I got, all the messages, guys. It really, really helps me, um, especially when I post it, it was so scary. Um, but I did it and here's my second one and I really hope you guys enjoy it. And I see you on my next video when I post it up. And thank you once again for everything and I see you guys next time. Bye.